We're here at the simulator facility in Italy and uh, for us it's a chance to evaluate a new tool that Delara has uh, available for the teams uh, to help refine the performance of the track. Today was uh, the first time I was in uh, any kind of simulator and here at Delara you know it's uh, uh, it's pretty special. It's kind of a, a strange feeling to, to be testing testing out things that you would on a racetrack in uh, in, in actually a building. But, uh, uh, you know, I think they've done an incredible job. Delara has put a big effort into this. They're always developing and improving their graphics, the car modeling, adding new tracks. Uh, we worked on a couple of new tracks today for them to validate. It's pretty involved with the, the amount of changes and the setup changes that we can do in a short amount of time. We're not using up tires, we're not using up engines. Um, it's, it's, it's from a standpoint of cost effectiveness, I think it's probably an advantage. The chassis is exactly the same car as we use uh, uh, in the real car, um, you know, and you adjust the pedals and everything, so it feels like your race car. On the screen, you're going to see pretty much like you would out of a helmet. Uh, it's a bit strange right now because you don't have the wheels, but they're actually uh, on the screen, which makes it really accurate. Uh, and um, also, uh, the, pretty much when you drive, everything is dark, so uh, you really emerge into the, the race car, so you can't really see what's going on. Right now it looks kind of strange with the, with the building around you, so when you're driving you really only see the racetrack and you really focus on that only. Uh, the cool thing about it too is uh, the seat belts actually when you're braking, they kind of pull you back, uh, so, so to really simulate the, the braking. Uh, so that all of these things are, are, are pretty accurate. Being consistent is, a, is really important in Indy cars and uh, if you get to be in a simulator like this, if you do a, a longer stint from like 20, 30 laps and try to be always in the same tents, the breaking points and all this doesn't change. You're always going to look at that and try to be as consistent as you can and I think that that's really useful. The nuances that, that Simone has been working on with the guys as far as the track surface roughness and how the car responds to the curbs. Those are all things that they're controlling and trying to make it as realistic as possible. So you don't actually have to uh, show up on Thursday and roll out Friday morning and never having seen the track before. We tried different things uh, that were better on the simulator. Now hopefully when we go test, you know, we, we're going to try that and see if it's, uh, it's really the same on the racetrack. Hopefully it is, you know, because I think we had some pretty good lap times right now. As a driver, you know, I think the biggest thing is you, uh, it's pretty good training because you have to focus so much more than in the normal car. In the normal car, you feel a lot through your body, where here you really have to focus on the, on the visual more. So I think when you're not driving for a long time, it's actually good to kind of train you back to, to really pay attention to the detail. As a group of engineers working with a new driver that don't necessarily have experience, we understand now better of how she relates to the car and her specific feedback. And we have to take that input and translate it back into, you know, the mechanics of the car and the setup of the car. So, you know, when we're setting down as a group now, I'll have a better idea of what she's describing and what her actual car is doing for, just based off of spending time with her here. It's been a really good experience. I live pretty close to here, my family is pretty close to, to the Delara factory, so they were talking actually that the engineer can stay in Indy and uh, uh, send all the files and things like that, and I could be testing in the simulator, so it'd be kind of a futuristic test there.